Dear jury and colleagues, my name is Jenny Nankova and I'm going to present you our project called Cross the Line. And it was a teamwork with Biljana Jončeva and Denica Bateva. Firstly, I'm going to speak about our urban strategy. After analyzing the situation and the wind flow, we decided to orientate our structure so that the residential district has two east courtyards protected from the wind. After exploding the structure into 11 separate blocks, we decided to count some of them in order to decrease the wind stream. This orientation led to the following communicational decisions. The main pedestrian and bike route crosses the district and connects the neighboring residential area with the school. The secondary pedestrian way uh, connects the expo with the heart of the project and the buffer park. We have underground parking lots and parking lots on grade for guests. Uh, we have planned all demanded public amenities, but we also have included public passage, which, is, which collects most of the social functions, two winter gardens in which people can rest and socialize, neighborhood plaza and skate platforms which transform into toboggan slides in the winter. Our accent, our urban accent, is the public passage. It includes a lot of public functions like cafes, restaurants, shops, library, fitness center, etc. Uh, for better micro microclimate and comfort, the covered street is lower to the basement level by platforms. And here is a view from the covered street. The, according to the sun study, the natural daylight and the sun gains will be sufficient. And finally, here is the complete urban plan. Five of the blocks have six floors and the rest of them eight. And the connection between the other districts is accomplished by underpasses. We have three different building types, small, medium, and large. S-type are located in the center of the district, which is the noisiest area. Therefore, these buildings are designed for, for young couples and um, uh, students. Um, these uh, buildings have, um, there is a patio next to each apartment, which is used for buffering, diversifying the corridors, and um, lighting up the kitchens. Uh, a typical floor has two um, one-room apartments and two two-room apartments. Uh, they're um, M-type, are located on the north and south part of the district. They are designed by identical approach with S-type. And all, uh, the first floors of all buildings are designed for disabled people and old couples. L-type are a bit different. They are designed for big families and they include greenhouses which are included in the heated volume and accumulate sun energy. The facades are in contrast with the dynamism of the passage. They are designed with vertical and horizontal panels. And here are different views from the district. And finally, I'm going to speak about the technical aspects. A ventilation system with an air-air heat exchanger and a ground source heat pump are used for um, ventilation, heating, and hot water needs. And the, water, the, the rainwater is collected and reused, and the waste is managed by a vacuum sucking trash system. And the blue line shows the airtight layer. So um, the building is designed with reinforced concrete construction, and we have used correct over materials, as you can see from the details. The first one is for flat roof, and the blue line shows the airtight layer. The next one is for ex external wall. Next is first floor slab above unheated space. And again, the airtight layer. And finally, for the basement slab. The specific annual heat demand is 13.49 kilowatt hour per square meter. And all technical aspects are fulfilled and the passive house standard is reached. And uh, finally, the social public passage, which is a backbone and accent of the project, is in contrast with the calm, quiet, and comfort residential part. Thank you for the attention.